the bells, everything that comes and that goes. You know what lives on? Highlights. The concluding day 3 of Tashkent Grand Slam was all about the heaviest weight categories. It had 3 male and 2 female categories on the tatami. It was a busy day in Tashkent, so let's see what we got out of it. We start our countdown with Italy's Agro, making his debut in IGF World Tour and scoring Ipon with this nice hopping Uchimata. The only Nevasa entry today belongs to Germany's Eric Abramov and this quick Ude Gatame he produced in the second round of competition. I like that he does not shell up into defense but instead attacks from guard position. Next in the list is Brazil's Beatriz Souza and this classy Uchimata Ashiguruma combination. Souza reached the final of over 78 kg weight category where she lost to Japan's Akira Sone. In number 12, we have Uzbekistan's Bobonov and this modified Tsurikomi Goshi he produced against Korea's Donghang Gwak. No top list is complete without at least one Uranage. Thankfully, Georgia's Ushangi Margiani had us covered with this huge Uranage in the second round of competition. One place above is Russia's Alexandra Babintseva and her counter to this lackluster attempt at the Sotogari. Next in the list is the sneaky Osotogari from South Korea's Min Jong Kim. I like how he fakes attack into one direction and then swings his leg around in the opposite and gets this nice Osotogari. In number 8 we have a champion of under 100 kg weight category. Toma Nikiforov and this big Seoi Nage in the third round of competition. Another entry from Korea's Min Jong Kim, this time with this nice Ouchigari in the match for bronze medal. Today clearly was the day of a Sotogari, so I have another one for you. Mongolia's Batuyag with in my opinion the cleanest Osoto of the day that won him bronze medal in under 100 kg weight category. In the 5th place we have this nice counter to Uchimata from Hungary's Tot. He manages to slide out of Uchimata and counter opponent with Uchimata of his own. In the next entry we have Estonia's Kaliulaid and this massive Obitori Gaeshi. There are not many judokas that specialize in this throw, but this guy is one of them. And finally we reach the top 3. Bronze medal goes to South Korea's Sungmin Kim and this Kosoto Gari. We can see that the opponent focuses too much on his grip and Kim uses this grip as his own, throwing him with only one grip on lapel. Silver in today's list goes to Azerbaijan's Mehdiev and this brilliant combination of Osoto Otoshi and Kosoto Gake. Perfect fusion of power and technique. And the final epon of today's list belongs to Russia's Anton Krivabokov and this fantastically timed Kosoto Gari. Next time someone tells you that heavyweights lack technique, show them this throw. Today we had another controversial moment. In the semi-final of under 100 kg weight category, Toma Nikiforov submits and chokes out Uzbek judoka pretty much at the same moment as referee calls Mate. 
Nikifor won the match, but the crowd didn't like that. But who was actually wrong in this situation? Nikiforov or the referee? Let me know what you think in comments below the video.